Welcome to our hands-on Trend Micro Malware Detection Test, courtesy of Best Antivirus Reviews. We are going to download and install Trend Micro Maximum Security in a free trial mode and test it against our private collection of zero-day malware. So how do you get infected? Uh, let's talk about the most common ways uh, that malware file penetrates your PC. In this example, you can see email from Total Gas Corporation with invoice file attachment. But if you look on the sender domain that you can see here, you will see it is from netsend.biz that has nothing in common with Total Gas. So when you will open the attachment, you will be infected with a malware. Uh, one more example that we can see here is a Facebook chat with a friend that send you a link and uh, when you click on it, it will redirect you to a site that is hosting a malware file. Another way you can be infected with AdWord type of malware is by installing a software that pretend to fix a PC problem, but at the same time use a Trojan horse approach to infest your PC with unwanted, unwanted applications. Let's talk about types and infection method of malware. We can divide this slide to three parts. The first one is uh, infection method, or how did we get the malware in the first place? Uh, as you can see, we have computer virus, worm, Trojan horse, and exploits. All of them can lead to the infection method. Uh, the second part is uh, malware that focus on black hat marketing like spam or adware. And the last part is the most common uh, cybercrime, stealing your data or trying to get your money. Ransomware infection, uh, this is probably the most uh, common malware infection that we see on a daily basis for the last two years. Uh, our guess that uh, this epidemic is not going to disappear in the near future. For example, uh, this uh, server uh, ransomware encrypt all your fi personal files and uh, demand a Bitcoin payment in order to release uh, your files and uh, decrypt your data. So what we are going to do in this uh, protection hands-on test, we have a private zero-day malware collection that we collect by monitoring traffic on several ISP gateways. Uh, we will trigger a manual scan on a selected folder that contains 1000 malware. And the ultimate goal is that the tested software will recognize all the files and quarantine the infected files. So instead of seeing uh, 1000 files on this folder, we should see eventually zero. For example, if we will go to virus total and try to choose one of, of, of the files in, in this folder and scan it. You will see that most antivirus software recognize this file as a malware. Um, of course you can find some that will not recognize it but you can see which one do recognize it and in which date they recognize this file as a malware. Let's talk about how antivirus signature engine is working. Each time you update your antivirus definition, one of the things that are being updated is the signature database. This signature uh, includes aggregated data of many uh, MD5 signatures. Uh, the MD5 signature is a string contains number and letters that can only represent one file. So if we will go to an online service that can take a file and generate an MD5 string from this file, we can copy this file and again search 
for one item on virus total. As you can see, this MD5 string generate only one malware. So let's start with our hands-on test protocol. The first thing that we're going to do is install Train Micro Maximum Security in TriMod. Uh, after the installation will finish, we will update to the latest uh, virus definition and uh, change the program setting to auto-delete any file that is being, uh, being detected as a malware. Following the change, we will start with a manual scan to the infected folder and um, count the number of files that will be left on this folder after the uh, manual scan. The number of files will let us know uh, what is the detection score of Trend Micro. So let's go to Trend Micro website and download maximum security free trial we can see the file being downloaded and let's execute the file Well, this is something that I wish wouldn't expect from this type of program, but uh, let's try to troubleshoot it. Let's use fast forward and we will get back on the end of this installation process. Okay, the installation is completed and as you can see the panel is already available on the desktop. The first task that we want to do is update uh, virus definition. I couldn't find anything here that will indicate that we can do the update. The only available option is to check the About Us and then you can see that there are no new updates with a relatively new date. So my guess is the update is being done automatically on the background. Another thing that we want to make sure that everything is being uh, selected automatically delete files that show any signs of threat everything sh is being set to auto delete okay we are ready for the test let's open the infected folder The system probably sensed that I'm going to a folder with a lot of dangerous files, but anyway, let's right click the folder and select scan for security threats. Yeah, I can see the number going down, number of files. In, in the beginning, the, there were 1000 files. And now let's wait and see how many files will be deleted. Okay, the scan was finished. And as you can see, we have 269 items remaining in the infected folder. Um, this gives us 73 
percent detection rate. Um, I would expect it to see uh, more files being deleted from from this folder. Um, let's try to do a sanity check. Select one of the files that is still remaining in the folder in virus total. And as you can see, many other antivirus vendor detected this file as a malware. We suggest that you, on your online research, you use Best Antivirus Reviews Lab Score Aggregation Tool. We have thousands of lab tests in one search tool that can help you find what is the best antivirus software. You go to the tool, choose your platform, the relevant time frame of the test. We suggest using two years and your operation system and press the calculate uh, button. It will immediately calculate what is the best antivirus software um, according to thousands of uh, lab tests available on the internet can see the labs from the new one to the old one from several separate laboratories. Thank you for watching this video review. Please don't forget to visit us for all your online security needs, reviews, lab tests and comparative information.